Meet CRISPR. First discovered as an antiviral system in some bacteria, CRISPR has since become a gene editing technology, even winning a Nobel Prize. So how does it work? To edit DNA, we first need something to cut it, and luckily we can hire Cas9, who is an excellent fit. Cas9 is an enzyme, and he's really good at chopping up DNA. There's just one slight problem. Cas9 doesn't know where to make the slice, but luckily we can give him something called guide RNA, a picture of the complement to the DNA sequence he's looking for. Cas9 subsequently attaches the guide RNA to himself, which allows him to detect the specific sequences we want. After finding the location with the matching DNA sequence, he'll then do his job and make a double-stranded break to the DNA. Cas9's task is finished, but there's still a hole in the DNA. Now remember, this is happening inside of a cell, which will quickly recognize the damage and swiftly try to fix it. The cell can attempt to use non-homologous end joining, which is just joining the ends together. This is highly error prone, however, so the gene is usually just turned off, effectively deleting that code. Alternatively, the cell can use homology directed repair, which is like a construction company. Scientists can give blueprints to the cell through Cas9. The cell will then attempt to rebuild that segment using the provided instructions, essentially allowing us to add completely new code or even edit existing DNA. But wait a moment, isn't editing DNA kind of unethical? Well, you're not wrong about that. What modifications are and are not ethical is a big point of discussion surrounding this powerful gene editing tool. CRISPR can be used anywhere from preventing infectious diseases, treating cancers and genetic disorders, and even making disease-resistant high-yielding crops, and the list goes on. Although CRISPR is still very much in its infancy, it's already being used in clinical trials with various successes. CRISPR is a prime example of nature meeting technology, and that's the beauty of science, turning these seemingly impossible into a reality. Thank you.